Yes, welcome back to the foodie part of the show. And over to you, Adrian Martin, for some cake. Cake, yeah, my favourite thing in the world. Lemon drizzle cake uh, with a little bit of passion fruit. I think, uh, I definitely think I'm obsessed with lemons. Anything kind of citrusy or whatever like that. This is quite an easy one to put together. We have 150 grams of butter, and it's basically 150, 150, 150. So 150 butter, 150 castor sugar into a bowl. Get your electric whisk and go straight in. And let's see, we're just going to combine this quickly together. So basically what we're looking for is a nice kind of creamy consistency. Now, normally we would go, and take your time with this, normally you would go for a good two to three minutes and get it nice and creamy and aerated. But to save time, all right, I'm just going to whack on and like kind of go through everything, the whole process for you. Normally the idea of this is you want like pale, light, fluffy kind of egg, or sorry, sugar and butter together. While when you get that done, you have uh, five eggs, okay? So you go in one at a time in here. So just crack in like this. And again, whisking gently in, like so, okay? Sorry about the noise, by the way. I know it's quite a noisy one to make. Um, so we're gonna go in again, another egg in. And the reason for this basically, I suppose the reason for this process is that it stops the, the sugar and the butter from curdling on you. You ever notice that sometimes you end up like with scrambled eggs if you add everything in too quickly, basically. So we're just gonna whisk like that. Like so. Until you get a cream, creamy kind of fluffy consistency. Yeah. Now when you get to the stage where you add in all the uh, eggs, okay? Yeah. You get a lovely creamy consistency, which is quite like this. I'm gonna skip that process. Um, Thank you, because I don't in. know if I could have sat through three more eggs. <laughs> Just keep that going. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know, man? Right. I knew that was going through your head, because that was going through my head as well. I was like, I'm not aiming for any more noise. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> so this is nicer. This is a lot more of a quiet job. This is lemon zest, OK? And uh, basically, we do three lemons okay. so i mean it's the most relaxing therapeutic job that we do in the restaurant basically you get your little micro plane and you work away and you zest lemons uh we would zest almost like 100 lemons a day uh for some Whoa. of our dishes like so the lads would spend about an hour just zesting lemons does it stay <laughs> that therapeutic after an hour adrian yeah do you have to play well, like, mood there, there's, music there's, mm, yeah nice. there is certain jobs like you do that uh that wreck your head, but I suppose it's not as bad. Now, uh, next thing we have, okay? So once you get all that kind of done, that's the lemony kind of flavor here. Give okay. that a good mix, like that. Now you kind of combine everything together. And now you add in then the flour. So we're gonna go in with Adelum self raisin flour. So that's 150 grams of this as well. So you've got 150 sugar, 150 butter, and then you have 150 of self-raisin flour. Okay. And then you just mix. And it's the most simple little batter ever. I don't know if you were, when I was a kid, my mom used to go mad when she'd make like cupcakes or she'd make cakes or anything like that. We used to go crazy for the raw batter. I don't yes. know if you, did, you were like that as well. I like so, the way yeah, when Adrian the says, when we were children, I'd still fight with it at Christmas time with my brother, still fight over it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. Now, uh, a tin. This is a two pound loaf tin and you can use a regular 20 centimeter cake tin as well. Okay. And we go straight in. And this is just greased with a little bit of butter. In you go. Now, obviously, we would have more volume to this if we added in the five eggs, but yeah. I didn't want to wreck Martin's ears any longer. Okay, so I'm getting blamed if this doesn't work out as it should be. <laughs> Thanks. He's made, he's made one already. So, surprise, spoiler alert. Don't worry, Martin. Still, that, that can't go to waste. That has to be made too. <laughs> <laughs> now, into the oven. The regular timing for this is normally 180 degrees for 50 minutes. What I would do is, uh, see any of the recipes you ever take, any bacon recipes, they all say 180, drop the temperature to 160 and add on an extra 10 minutes at the end. You get a fluffier cake and you get a better color. Oh, It all doesn't right. burn around the outside as well. So try that for all your bacon recipes. So drop 20 degrees and add 10 minutes. Okay. 
Great. Absolutely. Yeah, give that a go. Now, when we get to this stage, it comes out, it's lovely and baked. Wow, we nice even the tin change shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A skewer. As soon as it comes out of the oven, skewer all over. Yeah. Like this. Okay. And then what we have is we have the juice of the... Th you remember the three lemons that we zested? Yes. We have the juice of the three lemons. And then we have basically 150 grams of sugar. And then what I've done is I've added in the juice then of two passion fruits. Oh, lovely. And what we do is we drizzle. Yeah, it's so good. You drizzle really <laughs> well, Adrian. He does. Don't I? <laughs> Excellent. I'm telling you, lo lo loads of practice. An A plus in his drizzling for the leaving cert. I'm here getting like, I think my mom thinks that this isn't live, so I've, I'm starting to get a call from her in the middle of this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what she's doing? She's, you never landed the last three eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes I think she just gets a bit excited that I'm on and she's like, oh, I better ring you. Yeah. Your, your mother does that all the time, Warren. And she yep. knows your life. Yep. yep, air checks. Yep, absolutely. Gets her text so, messages in. <laughs> So normally you would let that sink down okay. into the cake and yeah. then uh, it would normally takes about 15, 20 minutes and then you pop it out of the tin. Okay, okay. so I'm just going to pop it out straight away. And then we release the bottom. Oh. Yeah, we, we're about to compliment you on your new bracelet, just as you did that. My bracelet, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now, and then what I have here is lemon juice, ice and sugar, and a little bit of the passion fruit juice as well. And then we literally just drizzle oh, like, no. over top. How much lemon juice go. have you used in that, Adrian? So I have the juice of one lemon. I have 150 grams of ice and sugar. And I have the juice of one passion fruit. I just removed the seeds of the passion fruit, Mary. OK. Yeah, yeah, you just sieved it out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh. I just sieved it out, yeah. And Adrian, exactly. you get to eat there that you all on your own, then. Oh, He's exactly. not by himself. Yeah, He's yeah. fine. Oh no! Yeah, well Hannah's here, so we're yeah. going. To, yeah, we're going to tuck in. Well, okay, she's well, a celiac. This is this is not suitable for her, so I'll have to eat it all like by I myself. Like I said, it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's so very thoughtful, isn't he? Well, with this, you did kind of go. A lot of it is for this. You've done 150 uh, an awful lot of the way through with with the ingredients, so it's kind of handy to exactly. To remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an easy one to remember. Just remember 250 of sugar, 250 butter, 250 of flour, and basically <laughs> five <laughs> eggs. Okay. And then you go 150 of the caster sugar, the juice of the three lemons, and you have the juice of two passion fruit. And then finally, the drizzle part, like the icing part, is 150, one lemon, and one passion fruit. I'm and sorry, he's, yeah. he's one hell of a guy, You're Adrian Martin. It. Enjoy <laughs> that. Thank you so much, Adrian. Thank Cheers. you so much, Great to see you. For that. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it does look amazing. I wish he was in the studio now. We could sample the goodness. Unfortunately, no, <laughs> he's not. He's going to eat it all himself.